All right, guys, what's going on with everybody? Uh, my name is Marvel Bishop, Ms. No Mr. No Way But Up. This is Convos with Bishop Quarantine Edition. Um, as you guys know, I always like to bring in people um, to have one-on-ones with them, you know, and get to know them on a personal level, face-to-face. Uh, -face. But due to um, the circumstances that we are right now, um, social distancing and quarantine and lockdown is in effect. So... Now I just thought about, you know what, I'm going to um, have different conversations with people, um, you know, via FaceTime and find out what they are doing, you know. Um, so uh, this is definitely um, the first of many, many episodes. So today I am going to be talking to my homegirl, Layla. Let's see here. Let me see if I can find her. Give me one second, guys. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So, um, cool, 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 cool. All right. Let's see if this works. Let's see. If this works, Ming. All right. So, boom. All right. Oh. Why? Okay. Oh, can you can you hear me? Hey. Oh, I can yeah. see you. Ah, right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? Hey, how are you? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Um, I'm, 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 oh, oh. Sorry about that. So I have a whole bunch of uh, sound bites that I have, and I wasn't supposed to press that, but I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no gunshots happening right now. Trust me, there's no gunshots. Good. Happening. Yeah. There's a lot to me right now. Yeah, for real. So, um, all right. So, um. So if you can, if you can uh, give everybody stage name gangster, if you can uh, tell me your name, your profession, who you are, so we can pretty much get started. Because I know who you are. Okay. I know who you are, but a lot of people don't know who you are. So My name is Sarah, a.k.a. Layla in the Instagram world. Um, I do credit repair, credit restoration. I'm in the financial industry. Um my mother of two, about to be three. There you go. Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that, but yeah. Well, not you a got, whole world knows. Person. Yeah, not yeah. a whole world knows. Leah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so um, I just wanted to uh, have a conversation with you and uh, how have you been dealing with this, uh, with the coronavirus, with the, with the, the quarantine that's happening right now? Um, you being a mother of two, you know, you having a family, I know it can be very, very daunting. I know it's it's a very it's a new um, it's a new experience that we have that we're having with you know with this. So I kind of wanted to you know get your insight on that. Um, basically, it's been it's been let's say it's it's weird for me. It's weird because it's been good and bad. Okay. You know, I'm a type of person that I usually like to count my blessings you know, and not really look at the negative side. But obviously, there's a big negative side. A lot of people have, you know, lost a lot from the coronavirus. You know, not only health, but, you know, money and businesses and a lot, you know. But I always like to focus on the positive. So for me, um, business-wise, it's been kind of actually really good for me because a lot of people um, can't, you know, venture out to do work. Mm -hmm. They would have to, you know, stay home. So what not better time to start a home business than now? Yeah. Definitely. So in, in that sense, it's been booming for me. But in the sense of me being home with two kids, you know, it's yeah, how crazy. is that? How, I mean, because you know, you got two boys, so I, I know yeah. that 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 is um, that can be kind of kind of crazy, I would think, right? Absolutely. And how how old are your kids? Very, 
very challenging. Yeah. How old are your um, kids? They're eight and five. Okay. Okay. So, because I know, um, I know for parents, not even that this is definitely a new thing for people, but especially for parents, you know, like, you know, the kids do actually go to, you know, to school or they go to daycare or anything like that, you know, so they're pretty much preoccupied during the day. But now, you know, with that pretty much being eradicated, everybody's pretty much home 24 seven. So you as being a mom and also being a businesswoman too, how do you, I guess, uh, separate yourself mentally and, and physically when I would imagine that's probably maybe nearly impossible. So I want to see if you want to give some insight, maybe some advice for the mothers out there and how to deal with that, you know, running a business and having kids at the same time, being quarantined. It is super challenging, but it can be done. It's, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be straight up real. It's hard. It's really hard. But if you have them on a schedule, you know, which is what we're starting to do right now, is just kind of be on a schedule, like literally wake up every day at 7 o'clock, just like how it would be at school, Mm -hmm. you know, get them up, breakfast time, homework time, which is, those are things that we do anyways on a daily. We get up, you know, do breakfast, then they will go to school. But except now they do school at home, which is through a computer and everything online. The hard part is doing work, my work, my personal work, and, you know, teaching them at the same time because they don't have that one-on-one experience with the teacher like they would have in school. So I literally have to sit there and go back on my third grade math and, you know, try to figure out everything. And school's not like how it used to. Oh, no, definitely not. I mean, we're pretty much around the same age, too. So, you know, the things that we actually learned back then is things that we don't really apply to today. But at the same time, it's like you have to pretty much kind of reteach yourself because now you're actually learning with your kids as well. You get what I'm saying? So Yeah. Yeah. Which is a good thing for me, you know, because I feel like um, we all need a little, you know, a refresher when it comes down to math, being in the financial world, me, you know, you need a refresher. So, like I said, I always see the positive in it. So I, I just, I take it like that day mm-hmm. by day, because if I sit there and be like, Oh my God, oh, I have to do this again. And I have to do this again. And I have, because I'm not gonna lie in the beginning, when I was first starting to get acclimated to the idea, I was like that. I was like, Oh my God, this is so hard. This is tough. You know, what are we going to do? We're not even getting paid for this. Yeah. I have to, yeah. no, I got you, you know, like I have to be a mom, a chef, a teacher, a businesswoman. I have to be all these. I have to literally have octopus arms. But once I started getting myself on that schedule and started being positive, doing positive affirmations in the morning, you know, really getting up and, and, and changing my mindset. That was the number one thing was changing my mindset, saying, you know what? It is what it is. The problem is here. Now we have to find a solution. Yeah. You can't focus so much on the problem. You have to focus on the solution and that's how you're going to get out. And if I sit here and focus on the problem and get in my little hole, guess what? My kids are not being taught. You know, my kids are still going to be, you know, they're doing nothing and and I'm going to be in this hole. So let's just keep it moving, keep it going, you know, figure out ways to, to get it moving with our positive affirmations and, and just speaking to yourself, speaking into this. If I can't do this, I am going to do this. Yeah. I'm not a you know, I'm not a great teacher, but guess what? I'm going to do the best that I can with the tools that I have. Yeah. The, um, I would say actually the last post that I pretty much, uh, posted and, um, you know, just this, this quarantine that's happening right now, man, it's really, it's in a, it's, it's on different type of levels. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's not even just physical. It's not even just medical. It's, it's everything. It's intellectual. It's emotional, it's spiritual. It's, it's warfare just pretty much happening right now. So, um, when you really focus on yourself and you pretty much, you know, win with the fight within yourself, you know, that's where it all starts, you know, like to be able to be, um, to be an, an efficient, you know, businessman or businesswoman in your case, to be an efficient mother, you know, you have to handle your, 
your more your 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 spiritual clock first. You need to address that first, and then you'll be able to pretty much you know spew out the good energy um, that you have. Um, now I know that you're really big into fitness. Now, yeah. Um, how how are those challenges for you? Because I know you know pretty much no gyms are pretty much available. I know you can pretty much you know go work out inside but that can also be a daunting task as it is so um you know being physical being physically active is definitely definitely as important or even maybe even more important for your mental so how are you dealing with that being pregnant right now is that's another challenge yes that, yeah, um, yeah yeah that i've been facing yeah so i've been trying you know i know that we're supposed to be quarantined and we're supposed to be inside but I spoke with my nurse and I, and I talked to her and I said, listen, I need to get outside at least for 30 minutes a day to walk around, you know, because I can't, you know, it's so challenging Mm -hmm. to do, you know, exercises inside, even though I still, you know, try to, I I was telling my boyfriend the other day that I look like a rat in a a ball, you know, like, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I, I get, I get, I get where you're coming from. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walk and walk and walk and walk. You know, as long as you're getting 30 minutes of exercise, it's bringing oxygen to your brain and gets your blood flowing, and it's, you know, it's working. But it's a challenge. Yeah. You know, it's some days I do it. You know, some days I'm up for it. Some days I don't. But for the most part, I've been, you know, doing what I have to do. But with me being pregnant, I'm just focusing right now mainly on just having this baby healthy yeah. and doing what I can with what I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With the resources that I have. Yeah, definitely. So, um, speaking of resources, I feel like you're a very resourceful woman, to say the least. <laughs> so, with all the ventures that you have ongoing right now, um, one of the ventures that you are doing right now is pretty much was is, is credit repair, right? Credit repair, right. trying to pretty much fix credit people's restoration. yeah, financial you know, literacy. Yeah. yeah, how how just as um, is it is it is it is it getting for so all the clients you have right now, right? Because obviously you were doing this before the quarantine. Mm-hmm. Is it more of a challenge or is, or is it less challenging to try to get more clients right now and to get them focused on to what is really, really important when it comes to credit repair and financial literacy? Because we have all this time, but people are worried about not doing what they need to do because they don't really have the money. So how are you dealing with that, that push and pull, that tug of war right now with your clients? Um, I am having a bit of a challenge with... Um with that in a sense because people are scared right now Mm. a lot of people are scared and spending money because they don't know what's about to happen they don't know what's going to happen tomorrow they don't know how they're going to feed their kids they don't know and they don't really feel like credit you know is important but i always tell them like credit is the number one thing that you have to be worrying about right now Mm -hmm. you know especially if these markets crash you know and Everything that's about to go, uh, that me and you know, yeah, are yeah. about to start happening. Yes. You know, it's yeah. so important for you guys to get your finances on check. Have your have a budget, an actual budget, because you're gonna pay so much money. People don't understand that if you don't have good credit, you end up paying ten times more than if you have credit. You know, when yeah. when it comes down to purchasing a home when it comes down to purchasing a vehicle when it comes down to even getting a job yeah true credit you know know? um it's funny because i have this saying you know you know when they talk about um when they say cash is king right so you know i have the saying where i say you know cash is king but credit is god yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because like, because it's not everybody believes in credit, but if you actually do believe in it, it will work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. It's the same thing with God. Like, you know, like, you know, people don't believe in God. Some people do. It is what it is, you know, but if you do believe in God, you know, it can also maybe, you know, your faith can definitely pay some dividends, you know, as far as, you know, praying and all that. So it's the same thing with credit. If you put the focus and you put the energy in credit, then 
it will pay off for you. Yes. And it may not, just like God, it may not seem like it in the beginning, but yes. God works for you. Yeah. God yeah. works for you in the background and he makes things move. And But if you, with credit, if you don't believe in it or not, it's still going to be there. Yeah. I think, I think, you might, be hard I think you might have to coin me, honestly, and use that for one of your posts, you know, saying that, you know, you can't, <laughs> I'll give you credit though. I'll give you, I, I'll let you, you know, you know, just give me some royalties though. But, um, <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's good. That's good. So, um, you know, we have a little bit of more, you know, probably maybe like a one or two minutes left. But um, so just to wrap up, um, number one, I'm glad you're safe. I'm glad your family's safe and everything else too. That's that's pretty much the most important thing. But um, with that being said, let's you know, um, give me some shameless plugs for your company as far as you know how people can reach you and what exactly you do for them. You know, if you can give me your elevator pitch right now, I'll greatly appreciate. It. No pressure. basically what we do is we do credit restoration we help people restore the credit um to get it to the point where you are ready to go financially you know you're you're set to buy that home that you want to buy that vehicle that you want or to even you know anything that you need with credit we're there for you. Um, we're here to teach you financial literacy as well. We don't just focus on credit repair. We focus on bettering people. Got it. And we feel like when it, when it comes down to bettering people, when you focus on bettering people, you know everything else will come along with that. I really um, am a big believer on just helping people get their finances right. I was a number one um person you could say that you know didn't have I didn't have my finances but I didn't have you know that financial literacy that I am learning now I didn't have you know those things and now through this company and through the people that I've been around my mentors oh my god they're so amazing my team is amazing and through them I've been a whole new world has opened up to me Good. and I just want to do that for somebody else. yeah yeah definitely. I'm gonna help you know somebody through that situation single moms especially you know mothers me knowing what it is you know to have children and you know to be single at one point i'm not single anymore but to be single at one point it's so hard yeah you know it's really really hard yeah and i just want to be that mentor for that person you know maybe i can help you with credit repair maybe i can help you in another way you know i just want to be there for you good no, that's beautiful. And that's 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 amazing. Uh, and uh, my, go ahead. What's your, what's your Instagram? <laughs> go ahead. My Instagram is uh, Layla's Word. Um, and my business Instagram is Black Card F. Yeah, I, we're gonna uh, we'll put everything as far as uh, you know, just uh, uh, the Instagrams and all that, and uh, just to make sure people definitely ch- hit you up and contact you. But the main, I think, the main important thing is right now is people just pretty much need to just get out of their heads and think that you know they just need to pretty much just prepare for the future. And honestly, this quarantine is is a it's it's literally sitting our asses down right now and be like, yo, prepare for the that. future right now. And honestly, I understand that people are not really making enough money. But another thing, too, is, is that the expenses and what you're paying for is actually not really existing right now. You know, so if you if you focus and you actually just revert your money into something that will help you out in the future. Um, I think, you know, I think once people just change that mentality, just shift that, that paradigm in their, in their mental, it will definitely pay off dividends. Um, Layla, like I said, mindset. yes, mindset, Layla, I appreciate you. You know, you're my dog. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much for everything. And, um, no, thank you. no, yeah, this is definitely great. And I appreciate your input and everything else too, for everybody, for families and for, you know, mothers and congratulations to, you know, mother to be for the third time. So, you know, uh, God bless you on that. All right. So I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Thank right. you. I appreciate you having me. Anytime. Until next time. Later. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, man. I'm sure uh, we're recording right now on all angles, man. Sir, how are you? Good, bro. How you doing? Um, I'm okay. I'm okay, actually. I'm actually, um, 
better today than I was yesterday, man. This whole quarantine thing, um, it's a little, it's a little different. Rough. It's a little rough to say the least, man. Um, so yeah, I wanted to have a conversation with you, um, because you know I definitely you know consider you not only a dear friend but definitely a um a colleague a colleague when it comes to you know content creation and you know a person who's definitely doing the damn thing as far as you know being creative and just showing people how to be creative too. So before we even get that, you know, we got about 10 15 minutes. Um how are how how have you and your wife and your you know your family um has been dealing with this uh lockdown so far? It's uh me and my wife were just taking it day by day. We're doing the whole you know, the situation, washing hands, uh, limiting uh, physical interactions with people, unnecessary uh, interactions. We're pretty much taking the necessary precautions. We're taking our vitamins. We're, you know, drinking hot tea. That's what I heard, you know. We're doing that. And my family, I keep in contact with my mom and my dad. They're okay. They're just as scared and confused as everybody else. And yeah. they're, 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 we're Haitian. So WhatsApp is a toxic thing. And I'm telling everybody, if you have a family member who is from the island, take their phones away. because <laughs> And delete <it's> WhatsApp. <laughs> WhatsApp. Because yeah. it's putting toxic in their brains and uh, fear-mongering them. And that's the only thing I've been dealing with. My mom, my dad, and my mother-in-law, they're just filled with false information. I'm just coming to them and letting them know that all those things on WhatsApp or Facebook are probably not true just focus on washing your hands and being safe yeah i mean not all information is good information you know um there's definitely a lot of information out there that can definitely you know f- fuck your damn brain up honestly you know what i'm saying um and uh if it does get to that level honestly it's it's usually better off to just honestly not listen to the news you know because you know what happens yeah you know you got to so the, the news right now is the messenger. Well, uh, traditional media is the messenger for, you know, uh, everyday Americans. But right now we have Instagram, Facebook, uh, podcast, yeah. stuff that we're doing right now where we, we're able to easily um, give messages and give information to people and it's readily available. And things change over time. Like I remember before, there was, like, people didn't know that um, people didn't know that you had to pretty much the coronavirus can live on a surface for X amount of time. People just thought you just have to just wash your hands and you can touch anything. But now it can stay Now we know that it stays on the surface for 17 hours, 24 hours, depending on if it's cardboard or wood, wherever the case is. So now we're getting more information every single day. Yeah. Right now, the thing is we don't know um, why it affects certain people differently, why some people are asymptomatic, why some people uh, get it but don't die why some people die and when as soon as they get it i think so um that, i think one of the things is, is uh it's it's your it's your immune system i think that's one of the things that we know about um you know not everybody's different you know everybody's immune system is different so if you do have a stronger immune system you're actually able to fight it and some people are actually able to fight it we're not even knowing that they have it that's the scary part too you know i think one of the things that definitely worry about me about this coronavirus is that you know i feel like people are like unnecessarily dying honestly you know but you know besides that man um what are you doing to keep busy um uh, business wise personal wise you know during this lockdown during this quarantine because you know I, I definitely see you're you're still active you're still you know doing your thing so talk to me i i mean for you know i do consultations i teach people photography podcasting how to be pretty much be a creative a creator online in this massive online world but i've had issues with you know booking people because like I don't want them in the house. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Yeah, I and got you. I've been using Zoom to do consultations online. Uh, I got to do a Zoom meeting with a girl, um, pretty much out out of the state. I did a consultation with somebody at far away, somebody in Gainesville. I was doing consultations with people in Port St. Lucie, people down the street, you know, my neighbors, and I just been doing that. And I feel like Zoom and like this type of like media, it's the future like we're just pretty much just getting started using video chat we knew that it was available but we just didn't use it to that extent and lately i've been using it to its full potential using my camera to do video chats with people and using my audio my pod mic um you know just to reach people and have them feel like they are learning from me like i'm sitting right there yeah. you know yeah yeah I've been, yeah I've, I've been 
a, a couple of videos, uh, just had ideas. Like for some odd reason, like right now I have so much time. Like a lot of my books, my bookings got canceled or rescheduled. So I have so much time to think. And lately I've just been coming up with different ideas. Like I want to shoot that. You know, I got time. I can shoot yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. it's, 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 it's crazy, man, because technology has always been here. You know what I'm saying? Like it's always been here, but when technology is like your only source of reaching people, then it kind of hits us. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like, you know what? Actually, we need to be able to use this technology and use what we have pretty much to the best of our ability as, as most efficient as possible, you know? Um, same thing with me, you know, you know, I do, cons- you know, consoles too. Um, I'm, I'm actually gearing towards more, um, more content creation and definitely consultations. And as far as, you know, virtually is concerned, um, my other businesses is not really, are kind of like at a, at a, at a halt right now, but it's just, it's getting me to think, um, more expensively, you know, like, you know, just like more outside the box and, you know, not necessarily outside the box, honestly, it's, it's, it's making me more practical and it's making me not use at, not use the excuses that I've had in the past because right now nobody has excuses as far as, you know, like, or, or I should say limited excuses. You know, there are some people I just post, I just posted a lot of people um, that are going through a lot of trauma, a lot of like, you know, mental anguish right now for, you know, what's going on for us, like losing their businesses, losing their job, laid off. So if this is a time for you to like, you know, just chill and just, you know, worry about yourself and your health first without even working, it's all good. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, man, it's 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 um, it's it's really really um interesting, pretty much uh to 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 say the least. Uh, what do you think is the most challenging thing right now, as far as trying to do consults right now with people during lockdown? Um, is is it is it is it harder? Is it easier? Is it more? Are you more um? Are people more accessible to you because the only way you can do you can actually pretty much you know connect people is through, um you know, zoom or FaceTime because, you know, like, yeah. Cause the difference between, you know, actually like tangible, like, you know, face to face versus virtual. So talk to me about that. It's, it's pretty much opening the doors for me. Like I said, I did uh, consult with consultations with people in Port St. Lucie, Gainesville, yeah. uh, other girls in Pennsylvania, somewhere like that. And it's pretty interesting because I normally don't have access to those type of people. And like we said, technology has always been here. Zoom's been here. Yeah, but yeah. Like all of a sudden, now people want to act like Zoom's just like came out of nowhere. <laughs> like Zoom's been here for a minute, man. Like, you know what I mean? But I feel like I have access to people more. But today, I had a consultation with a young lady. She lived maybe like down the street from me. We did a, a one hour. We were supposed to do a one hour consultation, and I was showing her aperture and shutter speed, and she just couldn't get it. And she just was like. Yo, I, I hear you. I know uh, you're you're telling me to do this X Y Z. I got I got the manual for her camera on my screen. I'm I'm telling her what she should be doing, and she's like, "Can I just come over?" Yeah, just, I, I got just, you. I I need to sit down with you. I'm like, my guy. Like, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. Which kind of gives you some reservations to begin with too, because you know, like you're trying to practice social distancing, but then you know, only virtual contact or virtual consultations and teaching people virtually can only go but so far you and know some like people like like i had a young lady she was like yo listen just tell me what i have to do to be a podcaster and i was like well you do this you do xyz you get this cable and she was like uh-huh 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 oh demonstrate that to me and i was showing her it's like i plug in the uh, H, h4n pro and i put in the xlr oh that's an xlr cable Okay, what about lighting? What about XYZ? And it was yeah, like yeah. for her. And for her, all she needed was for me to consult her. She needed me to guide her and tell her what's a good idea, what's not a good idea, what's a good approach. And that works for her. That works for some people. But the young lady I had today, she was like, Listen, send me that Addy. I need to I need to see and like feel your um, you know, feel how I'm supposed to, you know, work this camera. And everybody learns differently. So for me, the consultations have been picking up. I've been doing more lessons recently because it's, it's like people feel like it, it's so easy. Like, hey, just send him, you know, send him the uh, invite and we just do the chat and we just sit down for an hour. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. 
So um, is that something that you feel like you can definitely um, like mainly do like throughout the quarantine? Yes. I mean, it's really cool because it, I sit down with the person for like an hour. We text before the day before I, uh, I tell them, Hey, just send me, just come up, formulate a bunch of questions. That way when we start, we can um, have like a certain agenda. I have an agenda in my head, but you might have questions that you want to ask that are like off the cuff or like, something randomly you could think about as far as like content creating or podcasting, whatever the case is. And I just, it's so easy. Yeah. And when, normally when somebody comes over, they come over with questions and they're like all over the place. And I have to like, I have my agenda, my board here, but online I have my computer. I got mm-hmm. two monitors, mm-hmm. monitor here. I can just look over, I can share my screen so we can edit versus if I have somebody here, I'm going to have to like put the chair, I have to scoot over. All right, just sit here as I'm editing. And for some reason, it's not that, it's intimate, but it's still uh, not as close as you can share your screen with somebody. They can yeah, see. yeah. But it's the best that we can pretty much do right now. So, you know, it's all yeah, good. Yeah. So so what's um what's one thing, a couple more questions. What's one thing during this lockdown um, that you have learned about yourself before all this? One thing that I've learned about myself uh, before, hmm, it's pretty much is that I, I got to get it done. I always get it done. Like this, I always, I'm very resourceful. Like if there's a way to do it, <laughs> I got a way to do it. Like, like the Zoom, like I, I've learned that I'm able to use my, my Sony camera to get high quality video on Zoom chat. That way I can um, show my clients, hey, this is a better video quality. Yeah. And then I that. And I got a, I got a consultation because of that, because of me posting on, on Instagram, Hey, this is how I did my zoom. And I'm using my Sony camera. Like I got the same camera. How do you do that? Mm-hmm. Hey, mm-hmm. our consultation. And yeah. that is what I learned. Like people tend to grow in like, like, uh, like the great depression. Like it was a horrible situation, but so many businesses were created. Like in 2008, there were so many, uh, devastations in the market, but then there are so many businesses and tech technology advancements that happen because of that. And people grow with adversity. Like I feel like I'm growing and I'm learning that I'm able to just, Hey, find solutions, find all the means of like, I'm making money doing this consultation thing. I could continue making it. Like I find other ways of pretty much just providing income and for me and my family. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I've become really resourceful with the, the knowledge that I have. Yeah. Good. Good, man. Um, the beautiful thing about this whole thing, man, um, is for you to see the light and for you to really, um, just, I guess, just enjoy the fruits of labor. Like you actually have to go through the work first. It's kind of like, you know, before anything, um, when you, like, you know, what happens before a rainbow? Rain. Rain. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so you need that rain. You need that struggle. You know what I'm saying? To just to to blossom into, you know, a different person, a different being. So um, that's great, man. I'm really happy. And as a person that kind of, you know, from the beginning that consulted you, you know, I'm definitely really proud of you to where you're at right now. And you're definitely, pre- you know, helping out other people, including me, too, honestly, because you definitely bailed me out on a few occasions as well. So, you know, what I'm saying so that's great, man. Uh, I'm definitely really proud of you. So. With that being said, so we wrap up right before you wrap up right now. Can you just give me your um your information? If you can give me your um, shameless plugs, where we can find you, so people can you know, uh, well, first of all, just pretty much talk about what you do for consulting and what kind of consulting you do, and then where we can find you to try to you know drive more business to you. Okay, well, the type of consulting that I do is pretty much tech consulting, where I show people how to create content on their phones iPad, their computer, and I show them how to edit it on their phones, iPads, or computer. And I pretty much help walk you through step by step how to record photos, how to record videos, how to to take amazing photos. And that's pretty much what I do for my consultations. Cool. And then where we find you as far as uh, Instagram, that's probably the the best way to find you, right? Instagram is the best way to find me. I'm on there. Find me on Instagram at Shingil. That's S H I N G U I L. And that's my name. My, that's my uh, name everywhere on Twitter, uh, Facebook, everywhere. Good. All right, cool, man. Um, well, as always, man, I really appreciate you, man. And, um, you know, 
we're not alone with we're not alone when it comes to this quarantine and we're definitely gonna get get it together and get it through get it through what am i saying we gotta get through it together <laughs> you know what i'm saying um and uh just you know strive and see what we can do in order to you know get us better man so i really appreciate your time man and uh Thanks we'll for- be in touch all right all right all right man love peace So, I have with me the infamous and a good friend too, Miss Sage Nicole. How are you? Good morning. How, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Number one, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, chat with me during these times of hysteria and uncertainty. Um, yeah. Speak about that. Yeah. Talk to me about that. How, do, how are you feeling about everything that's happening right now? Um. So. Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, whenever you watch this. So for me, I stay off the news. I probably, there's just a few outlets that I listen to. I Whenever Chris, Chris Cuomo comes on, I listen to him. Whenever, you know, just certain headlines, I'll pay attention to. But for the most part, I stay off the news, and I just pay attention to how I'm feeling in nature. So this whole thing, when it first started, it was kind of a joke. And then it got serious, yeah. and now I'm calm. I feel fine. I feel fine because I feel like the earth needed a break. Yeah. It's, yeah. Been, it's been asking and begging for a break for a very long time. And so now we just sit us on our behind. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is definitely one of the ways that the Earth is um, healing itself after a while. You know, there's been so many lakes and so many like different like you know um, <clears throat> like water sources that was pretty much polluted, and you know you can't even really see through it. But now, like in places in Italy and Europe, and I think even in here too, where like you actually see like life and like yes, animals and, like, like animals, just coexisting animals in it. Trying to come out. Like, yeah. Yeah. Are they yeah. totally gone? <laughs> I just think that's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, like, definitely. Wild, I think it's like wild boars, just like out in the city, just eating on grass, like things that you've never seen before. Uh-huh. And yeah, I mean, the, the ozone layer <laughs> had a hole in it when I was in kindergarten. We were talking about these types of topics, um, climate control, all of that when I was in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. We have not really ever done anything about it. Yeah. We did this whole play, we did a skit. And I mean, yeah, we bring awareness, but we haven't done anything about it. So this is actually this is a good way for the environment to sit us on our behind and let it breathe. Yeah, we some, do too much. Yeah, sometimes um, we need to sit our asses down. <laughs> like we got to sit our butts down and, you know, just plan and, you know, just pretty much wait for pretty much what's happening. So, pre- so speaking about sitting our butts down, obviously we are in quarantine right now. And um, yeah. I wanted to get your insight on what have you been doing because I know you have a you know a beautiful daughter, and I would like to know what have you been doing with her to try to keep her busy because I know a lot of people during this quarantine they don't really it, it's it's a, it's new territory for parents you know what I'm saying I, she, she, yeah. could, she could probably hear me right <laughs> like, <laughs> okay <laughs> so so it's new it's really new territory for parents to um keep their children busy keep them active. Um, and not have them slack around when it comes to, you know, like education because, you know, school's out right now. So um, what um, what methods are you taking right now for, for your child to, um, to, to make sure that, you know, she's always on that same pace that she's been doing, you know, when she was in school? Okay. So to be completely honest, she's not on the same page. I would love to say that she's on the same page, but she's not on the exact same page. But what I did do was create um, – <laughs> When I seen that she was slacking, she's a very disciplined child. Got it. And if y'all see my nails that I'm talking about, don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> Listen, this is all, this is convos with Bishop Quarantine Edition, so it's all good. No thing, it's all I'm good. Kidding. All right, no judgment whatsoever. Anybody who okay. says anything does not have a soul, so you're good. <laughs> so <laughs> like, back to the topic. Again, yes, man. yes, ma'am. Um, she's a pretty disciplined child, and I thought that she would be able to discipline herself and get her work done, but she's been on TikTok and chilling for the most part so what i did was create um quarantine university like literally i have like a pdf of a schedule of oh what. wow yeah so any parents out there who have kids maybe in like probably like third fourth fifth grade that can actually sit them down and do this i'll send it to you okay, okay. it's um the half of the morning is prayer and meditation set your attention for the day 
then we do a workout, then she does her schoolwork, whatever the school has assigned her, and then um, her her extracurricular activity, whatever, is to learn something that she hasn't learned before. So right now she wants to learn Japanese. Oh, nice. So that's her task. And I got her the Rich Dad Poor Dad book for kids, so she's going to start that soon because Rich Dad Poor Dad was, like, great for me. And now he has one for kids. I think that would be really cool for her to start. On. Okay. So, okay. Um, and then I do, I mean, back in the day when I used to stay home with her, I'm used to providing lots of curriculum for her. I'm used to, like, I used to put, like, words on the refrigerator, put words all over the place so that we can, like, identify what things are. So I'm kind of used to homeschooling before she was in school. Mm-hmm, yeah, pretty, so much, pretty much prepared for that. Okay. Yeah, it's not that hard. So um, I just got it. It's just, it's just she'd be on the phone with her friends. Her friends ain't going there. <laughs> which is normal. Which is normal. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? I know. It, 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 Sage, Sage, Sage Nicole. <laughs> like, I know. It's not vacation. Yeah. For real. Yeah. No, I got you. I got you. You know, but it can't be really vacation, you know, too much because, I mean, school is out pretty much for the rest of the year. Or no. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to put that on the, on, out in the universe, no. but I've, I, I don't know. I've heard some rumblings that. The 30th, the 30th of April. May June, so it would have been two more months left. I mean, to be honest, I think it's gonna be. I don't think they're gonna bring it back. Yeah, I mean, I think I it's... did hear this morning. I haven't done the research, but I heard that we just got some assistance from China and Russia um, for medical supplies and things like that. I have mm-hmm. to check on it again. If that is the case, then this might be wrapped up a lot quicker. Yes. Then they probably can't go back to school. But I'm gonna let. But I'm gonna let the kids go to school first for about a week. And see how they work out, and then I'll send my kids to school after. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. I just need to see how this plays out, you know. So yeah, I got you. So speaking of um, having your daughter read books, what what book are you diving in right now during this quarantine? Are you reading anything special right now? Yeah, um, I'm reading the Power of the Subconscious Mind right now. Okay, who's that by? Do you... Great, great read. This right here is Joseph Murphy. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's um. It's a great read, and it's also on YouTube if you guys want to listen to it. But the guy that's reading it talks really fast, so if you want to buy the book, I think that would be better. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. One of the uh, most challenging things that's happening right now are, um, well, for some, well, I'm sorry, actually for most, including me, is adjusting during this quarantine, during this this lockout, and business wise, trying to become as creative as possible. You know, if one of your business ventures is not really working out and it's pretty much at a halt, like for me, my, my concierge company is at a complete standstill. I haven't made money from that. I'm definitely planning on you know the surge and whenever we do get back to things, because I definitely know that it's going to get back to normal and we're going to have a big big push. Oh, yeah. But as of now, oh, yeah. I am gearing towards other business ventures that I have to see how I can you know, uh, monetize and I can pretty much, you know, be as efficient and catapult that. With that being said, I know that, um, have you, have you had any challenges or struggles with, cause I know you're a serial entrepreneur as well too. You're a model, you're an actress, you know, you also have businesses on the side too. You know, you're pretty much just a hustler, you know? So, um, are you are you facing any any challenges right now as far as um, your businesses and what you do and you know steady income or you know have you have you faced anything so far or no because you can if not if, if if not then this is what we need because this is the type of positivity I need right now so everybody's like yeah. oh my god I'm losing money this and that but if you're not please please share with me you know how you've been successful so far okay. So outside of modeling and acting, I I have other industries that I'm in that I have just been very smart. Okay, so rewind. When it comes to acting and modeling, that is at a halt. They're not flying out models for anything right now. The agency that I'm with is so amazing. They're in L.A. and they're at, initially they were only booking local talent, but right now they're not booking no talent. Got it. Nothing. But they do have things lined up for us. So when this is done, we already kind of like it's it's gonna be popping when that does happen. So that's one. Two. When it comes to influencer work, I think this is a great time because before you probably had so much products and things to talk about and things to like push to people. 
that it's kind of hard to also reach out to brands and navigate that. So right now you have nothing but time to fill up your calendar for when that does come back, when the world opens back up, back up, the world opens back up, you have contracts lined up. Very, very important. So for my creatives who do not have an EPK kit, I highly encourage you to get an EPK kit, show them what you've done in the past, show them your metrics, you know, when you tell people to swipe up, this is how many swipe ups you have, this is how many clicks you have. These are if you have a link that um, attaches to the product that you're promoting, okay, how many people actually clicked on that link? Show the brand what you can do to them and say, yo, when this comes back, this is how much I have now, but picture how much it's going to be when the world opens back up. They're going to be ready for your product. Get yourself to brands right now and just make sure that you have your money lined up when this stuff is all over. So that's two. Three, this is a very important time for you to think about multiple streams of income. It's great to have multiple streams of income in one field, but when you don't diversify, this is what happens. Because, like, let's say you're only in the food industry and you have 10 restaurants. All of them are shut down right now because you didn't diversify. So um, not only investing right now, you definitely want to invest. If you have the money, definitely, definitely time to invest. But I have had my insurance license since 2014. Whether I'm working in the industry or not, I always kept it active. I always renew my space every single year. So picture this. Everybody's worried about being sick. Everybody's, like, stressed out, don't want to get sick. What are people shopping for? Health insurance. Health insurance, yeah. That's big. That's really big right now. So, so I know that's something I that am, you're... I'm actually, doing, I'm actually doing really good. So... I'm able to, the company that I work with, I'm able to log on to anywhere. They don't have an office. It's all remote. It's all, like, if you have Wi-Fi, you have a computer, you can log in and work. So, thank God, I've always kept my license active. I can log in, and now I'm building a team. I have a certain amount of agents under me. I'll be training them because I've just always been good with sales, always been good with managing people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's great. So, now I'm able to make money during all of this craziness now mind you if the world goes to hot, to hot mess the insurance industry blows up the mortgage industry blows up we all still have to find something to do but that's just what i've been doing to keep myself busy and to keep money flowing in and if you have a certain amount put away and you know you're good for xyz amount of months now the extra money that i have coming in now i can talk to financial advisors about investing yeah. so that's yeah, this, this what I've been doing. Yeah, the um, you know, it, it's it's great to have multiple streams of income, but if you can actually have income that is recession proof or recession proof like, that is pretty much the wave, you know. And insurance what is, is proof income. What is? Yeah. Um, recession proof income is pretty much income that would always flow to you in times of recessions or times of even depressions or times yeah. of, um, you know, of the economy pretty much taking a halt or taking a hit. Like no matter what happens during the economy, you are making money. So, I mean, insurance is definitely. And that is one of those things right yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. We have an idea of what recession proof income is before this hot mess happens. Who would have thought, like, you know what I mean? Recession proof. It's, it's crazy to sound. Starbucks is a recession proof company. During the recession, okay, I see. I see what you're saying. So you have to be really very, very good. careful. You have to be very, very particular on what kind of recession proof income that you're getting yeah, into. And the I got thing you. Is, you can try to think of all different types of scenarios, but sometimes you never even know because nobody expected this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's just very important to try to make sure that not do not have your head in every pot. Do not do that. Just make sure. It, Wherever your talents are, you have at least a little finger in that talent. You know, I'm good at sales. I'm good at training people. And so I can place that talent to build a team. So now when they make money, I earn commission off of them. So when this opens back up and I start back modeling full time and I'm in LA and all this stuff, I can check in with them and whenever I want, make sure that they're doing good, still have money coming in and be doing that. You know what I mean? Got you. Got you. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. Definitely. Um, Yeah. And, you know, it's it's we, we we really have to not only you know I mean the old saying goes you know like like don't don't work harder work smarter but at the same time too you know um 
got to really take this thing day by day. You know, like this is a very um, like one of the posts I've had before um, I posted on my IG, you know, like this is like a warfare on so many levels, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, intellectually, you know. So um, yeah, got to just really, really just hone in onto your skills and you as a person and just go all in and see what you can pretty much do next. Um, so uh, before we wrap up, two things. Uh, one of the questions is actually one of the staple qu- the staple questions I, I actually have for um, my guests on um, this this show. What is one thing that you have learned about yourself, or that you're learning about yourself that you haven't learned before this quarantine? Uh, everything that I need. And every, like, honestly, and truly, every single thing that we need is already in us. Mm. Like, mm. it's not about going out to find something. You have to go within, you know? And that, I I think I feel that even more during this because I'm a huge journaler. It's so funny. I have, like, three right here. I have this journal, this journal. I have Big my station journal. Nice. I'm a huge journaler. So, like, I'll write. I already wrote out today what I'm doing today where my mind needs to be, where the area of focus is. Manifestation. Manifestation to. is so huge. Yeah. It, it's it's everything. Most, it's, it's everything, really. It's, it's <laughs> so much fun. I was talking about that last night, co-creating with the universe is just so much fun. Like, yeah. you can want one thing, and then you place your order with God, and then God delivers it to you. It's like Amazon. It's fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this is the time that I feel like people really, really should be going with it. Okay. I don't know how to grow a goddamn plant. If the world went to happen, like, I don't know how to do that. Okay, do I know how to really be resourceful? Do I yeah. really, like, what can I do to provide value in this world that would be able to bring me income if this world went to happen? You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, definitely. The worst case oh, scenario another is hot. thing. What's so, that? because I'm such a big journalist, <laughs> I'm actually coming, with my own, coming out with my own line of journals. Your own line of journals. Oh, that's what's up. There you go. Like manifestation journals. Okay. Okay. Journals, all, like, all types of different journals. I'm going to start off with one, which is a soul growth journal. It's going to be on Amazon. I'm um, just waiting for Amazon to approve it. So it should good. be out. There you go. Days. There you go. Yeah. That's so another line right there. To just write out like what they like. like okay. I'll show you mine. Never mind. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's but fine. You, you'll show me another time. Right it's all good. Out, yeah, what you need to do today, like, just be really, really focused and very intentional. Because if you're not, your mind is going to go. It's going to go to the news, and it's yeah. going to freak you out. And yeah. It's not going to be Definitely. beneficial to anyone. Definitely. So. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, all right. So to wrap up, I would love for you to um, put some shameless plugs out there. I want you to promote any business right now that you're doing right now um, because that is um, the reason why I'm doing this segment, you know, uh, Convos with Bishop Quarantine Edition. So please, uh, if you have any business that you'd like to promote right now to try to push, you know, we'll definitely try to send you some clients your way. So, you know, Um, I wouldn't. Yeah, so, I mean, anyone who's looking to make extra money, who maybe have a 215 or 240 license, hit me up because I can bring a telebomb. Really easy. It's really easy. Happy that I work in Costa Rica, that I work in DR. They, you, as long as you have internet, you can log in and make it. Nice. That's one. And then two, um, depending on when this comes out, we'll probably be able to put the link for the journal. No, we'll do everything. And, we'll, we'll, um, this, it, this is, this is coming this week. So this is coming out this week. So, um, yeah, whatever so you want to put out there, let me know. Send it to me and we'll put it in the YouTube link. Got you. Yes. And um, just don't don't use this time as a freak out moment, you guys. It's all going to be fine. You just have to go within and figure out what your purpose is. Don't beat them kids, you know. Don't eat them all the snacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch, watch. <laughs> you know, we're not as active as we once were. So it's very, very important to really watch your watch what you eat, your calories, restrict them. So, you know, everybody's going to gain weight during this thing. It's all good. It is what it is. No, I I mean, I all right, okay, I, I queen, okay, fitness queen, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, listen, I got you. If, if, if you. if you're on top of your shit, you're on top of your shit. But I know a lot of people aren't. So that's what I'm saying. If you're not on it, just, you know, 
work on and just deplete and decrease other, you know, like eating, you know, like don't eat as much as you were if you're not really active. So you can try to counteract, you know, the, the weight. Yeah. I think I'll do too much meal prepping. You can still meal prep at home. Yes. Meal prep whenever yes. you're, you're lunch, get it. Just discipline yourself. You Got guys. you. Got you. Well, Miss Sage Nicole, we are over the time, but you know, for you, I don't mind doing that because you know you definitely uh, one of uh, one of my good friends. So I definitely appreciate uh, the conversations you know. and everything else too. Um, and uh, definitely gave me some great insight, honestly. And this, this is the first time we actually did a one on one like this. So um, I know, yeah. I know, I know. Uh, I listen. Hold up, before you kill me, I know that we were supposed to do. I didn't uh, say anything. <laughs> I just said you're right. No, I know. I'm just saying. I, I know. Okay, yes. Before this quarantine, I know we were supposed to do a one-on-one, but you know what? This is actually going to give us, you know, some type of motivation whenever things get back to normal to get an official one-on-one with you. So, uh, Sage, really appreciate your time, and thank you so much. And please stay safe, um, and please, I hope your daughter stays safe too, everybody. All right? Take care. Love. Bye-bye. Later.